My absolute favorite salad is a Caesar salad. I can make a whole meal out of just a Caesar salad, but a lot can go wrong when you get into the details. You have your homemade dressing, emulsions, homemade croutons, anchovies, which people are always a little iffy on. So let's look at three different recipes today and try to figure out how to make a perfect homemade Caesar salad. This is The Dinner Net. Here's how you don't make a good Caesar salad recipe. Romaine lettuce, some store-bought croutons, store-bought dressing, mix it all up, call it a day. I mean, I know that's a quick salad, maybe if you're in a time crunch, but it is not a classic Caesar. So let's make three really delicious Caesar salad recipes today and see if we can learn some things about how to make this the right way. I scoured the web, I found a popular Caesar salad recipe, one from the front page of Google, and one completely off the grid recipe that you're gonna love. Let's check them out, let's get started. For our popular Caesar salad recipe today, we are going to SeriousEats.com. I love this website, and specifically, I love the Food Lab, which is where we're getting this from. Kenji makes awesome, awesome recipes. He is very precise very scientific, um, which some people can find to be a little bit annoying because it's so exacting when you're trying to make it, but it almost always turns out delicious. So this is his Caesar salad, which he calls the best Caesar salad. And actually when Kenji says the best, I kind of tend to agree with him. So we're gonna get started. And the first thing we need to do is work on the croutons. Now, Kenji says to use um, a really good, like hearty loaf of bread. And we're gonna cut this into about, he's very specific, three fourth inch cubes. So I'm not gonna pull out a ruler, but we're gonna try to get close to that. Something like that is probably about right. So Kenji likes to have pretty chunky pieces here. You could use like a sourdough loaf for this. You could use a nice baguette if you wanted to. Just something that's sturdy, not like, you know, sandwich bread. You don't want that. We're gonna do some garlic and olive oil. This is how we're gonna sort of dress these croutons for the oven. And then I like to grate mine using a little microplane. This will make your hand smell garlicky. You could also just dice it with a knife. Then Kenji says to add about three tablespoons of uh, olive oil to this. So I'm gonna kind of eyeball it. Ooh, Kenji probably doesn't eyeball anything. Whisk it. If there are any big pieces of garlic that might burn on the croutons, uh, you probably wanna get those out. The oil has a ton of flavor in it, so you can take out some of these big pieces. Save these pieces for later, we're gonna use them in the dressing. And then all your bread is gonna go in to this delicious garlic oil. And we can just kinda of toss this together. We want them really nicely covered. We'll add a little bit of parm to these. It's gonna give kind of a nice cheesy flavor to these. And a pinch of salt and pepper. And these go on a rim baking sheet, ready for the oven. Lay those out, perfect. We're gonna do a little tasty style thing here. Let's see if we can do it. Ready, one, two, three. Ready. Oh look, they're done, perfect, nailed it. Wish I had one of those in my oven at home. Uh, quick toss and they're done. We are now gonna make the Caesar dressing and then we're basically done, guys. Caesar salad is done. Now, I like to use a little blender for mine and this is like, if you have one of these, this is awesome. It's a little immersion blender and it fits right in this pot and it makes dressings like this super easy. We are going to combine our egg yolk with lemon and then we're gonna talk about anchovies. So, let's see if I can do this. You just want the yolk, not the whole egg. So some lemon juice, about a tablespoon, which is you know, maybe depending on the size of your lemon, it's probably about a lemon's worth of juice, maybe a little less. And then anchovies. Let's talk anchovies. They get a bad rap. People are very opinionated on them. The truth is that in a dressing like this, they really just add like a nice, savory, salty flavor. Um, it's not like you're getting anchovies on a pizza or anything like that. Now, Kenji, as scientific as he is, he says this recipe, you can use anywhere from two to six anchovies. So that's quite a range. Um, I made this one time with six anchovies and it was very anchovy-y, but 
you know, you can always add more anchovies. It's hard to get them out later. So usually anchovies comes in oil. And so you kind of get them out of here. Let's see if we can get one. Look at those little guys. All right, I'm gonna do two for this. These are big actually. So those go in. All right, so we're building our dressing. We have the yolk, the lemon, the anchovy. And also we're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. A little dash of that, about a teaspoon works. As we blend this, we're gonna drizzle in our canola oil. So let's see how it goes. So we're gonna slowly start drizzling. Looking pretty good. And then Kenji likes to use canola oil and olive oil in this recipe. I like the mix of both. So what you can do is stop with the blending and just stir in the rest of your olive oil with like a whisk or a fork. And that'll kind of thin it out a little bit. So this is, woo, this is perfect dressing right there. See that consistency? That is what you want in a Caesar dressing. Oh wait, let's read some reviews. Reviews. Ryan says, this is a highly rated review. Being a novice in cooking, I gave this a try. Made the dressing with a food processor, two to three teaspoons anchovy paste, interesting. And it came out exactly how I wanted it. Might try it with Dijon and some heat next time. I guess like red pepper flake or something, but cool. All right, that sounds good to me. I mean, novice cook can make it, you can make it too, right? Okay, next comment was, this was a question. They said, I made Caesar dressing the other day using my immersion blender, which is what I used, and it basically came out like mayo. Oh. Uh, I ended up adding a splash of water, lemon juice, and more oil to thin it out. Still a little creamier, heavier than I prefer. Hmm. I'm curious, does more oil make it thicker? Kenji actually replies and said, yes, more oil will make it thicken up until the point that the emer emer emulsion, emulsion, will eventually break. So water-based liquids will thin it out. So I don't think I need to add anything to mine. Mine is absolutely perfect. Uh, so I think we're good to go. All right, let's make a salad. We have a big head of romaine lettuce. Now these can be, if you get a big wood guy like this, can be a little unwieldy to work with. Um, so what this recipe recommends is actually just using the inner leaves, which are a little more tender. Once we get to the middle of this romaine lettuce maze, there's like, here, watch this. Okay, just do that. Okay. So somewhere in here, there's like some tiny, oh yeah, see these? These are like nice tender little leaves. So you can just add these as is. And if you get any big ones, you can kind of just rip them up or you can chop them if you want, but. Ripping is fine, but I like that. I like that. That's that's like about the size I like my Caesar salad. Um, and so, what else goes in this? Obviously, we're gonna add a little bit of dressing, right? And don't don't overdress this salad. Like, just add a little bit at the beginning, and you can always add more. And so, it's starting to coat all those. Oh yeah, there we go. We're gonna add some of our croutons to this, right? Oh, I almost spilled my dressing. And then we're gonna shave some parm. So I like to get a, a little block of parm and just kind of, you know, shave it into nice slices. You gotta, sl oh yeah, here, watch this. This is cool too. If you wanna use a little peeler like that, you just go. That's the sound all peelers make. Did you know that? I love Caesar salad. So you toss that together. Look at that. Caesar salad, done. Let's plate this guy up. What I like to do is Try to get a little bit of everything, right? Pile it high and deep, they say. And you can add more of whatever you want. So if you want a little extra cheese on top, ever seen it rain Parmesan before? Look at that. A few extra croutons, tiny little drizzle of extra dressing. Oh man. Caesar salad. This is Kenji Lopez Alt's best Caesar salad from Serious Eats. Let's give it a shot. Try to get a crouton. Mmm. Oh, a little bit of lush. 
It's the same, it's light. It doesn't feel heavy, but it's got a ton of flavor. Um, that dressing is spot on. I don't know. I don't think it needs anything else. It is delish. I gotta eat more, sorry. I can eat that whole bowl. Okay, maybe not, but I can eat a lot of it. Caesar would be proud of this one. By the way, Caesar salad is not Julius Caesar. Different Caesar. Wanna hear the Caesar salad story? It actually is a dude, it's an Italian guy, who actually opened a restaurant in Tijuana, believe it or not, and he came up with this Caesar salad in the 20s. It's been around that long. Little history lesson for you there. Yep, that's why you watch, right? Okay, we made this recipe, it was delicious. But let's move on, see if we can learn anything from the next recipe. We are going to the front page of Google to make a Caesar salad from there. For our top 10 Caesar salad recipe today, we are going to a website called Natasha's Kitchen. Now, Natasha has ran this website with her husband since 2009. There are probably thousands of recipes on here. She writes really thorough recipes, frequently is listed on the top page of Google, um, and this is her Caesar salad recipe. Now, I picked this one because it's a little different from Kenji's recipe, the popular recipe, and the, the salad dressing is really sort of different. But let's, before we do the dressing, let's do the croutons. Um, she likes to use a baguette for hers. Basically, she just chops them up, does a similar kind of garlic oil situation. So you'll see that here as we chop this up. Half of this guy. I like using a baguette for croutons. It has a nice, I like the texture of it. Cause it has some like holes in it. Uh, gets kind of crispy, I like that. Perfect, so there's our bread. And then we're gonna do some garlic again and some Parmesan cheese also. So it's very similar. You know, run your knife through it a few times. That was a big clove of garlic right there. That goes in a bowl. And we're gonna add some olive oil to that. Three tablespoons. One, two, three. Good enough. And a few tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. And then we're gonna add all of our breadcrumbs in here. And then you can kind of stir these with a fork or some tongs or whatever you have, just to get them all evenly coated. Croutons 101 right here. There we go. I'm gonna put these on a baking sheet. Spread them out. Put these in the oven. Ooh, great. Done, cool. Easy breezy. Okay, we're making dressing. The dressing Natasha makes for this is kind of interesting because she doesn't use anchovies and she doesn't use egg. So if you are someone who is against anchovies, this might be a dressing for you and it still has a lot of good flavor. So she says a teaspoon of, of uh, fresh garlic. So I'm gonna do, it's like one bigger clove. Grater, whisk. Okay, grate the garlic. And then we need two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I'm actually gonna, not always a measure, but I'm gonna measure this today. Well, let's see here. Oh, that's some. My mustard is yelling at me. Rachel's laughing. Rachel, stop laughing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is this is why I don't measure stuff. It never. It's it's like just add some mustard to the bowl. Okay, there. There's two teaspoons. Good enough. Some Worcestershire. This stuff. So this is what Natasha uses instead of anchovies to give it kind of a savory flavor. Teaspoon of that. One and a half teaspoons red wine vinegar. A little bit of fresh lemon as well. About two teaspoons of that. I'm gonna say that's about half a lemon. See, I'm already not measuring again. i so bad at measuring. And then we're gonna whisk this up. So right now, to be honest, it doesn't look like much of a salad dressing, right? So we're gonna see if we can fix that with some olive oil see if we can make this into a smooth dressing. About a third of a cup of olive oil, and we're gonna start slow. Whisk, 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 whisk. Whisk like crazy. Cool. 
And then we're gonna just season this with a pinch of salt and pepper. And that's pretty much it. A little bit of pepper. It's a little bit thinner than the, the kinji dressing we made, but that's a good flavor. That's a really good flavor. If you don't like anchovies, this is how you should make Caesar salad dressing, right here. Now, if you wanted this thicker, you could do the whole blender thing like we did last time and it would thicken up even more. This is perfect. All right, let's make some salad. I'm gonna chop my lettuce this time for this guy. So we got a nice big head of lettuce here. If you wanna chop this up, Last time I used like, you know, I ripped up the, the romaine. I'm gonna do a little bit more of a dice on this. There we go. That looks pretty good, right? Then we're gonna add some of our dressing. Again, don't, don't do too much dressing or it'll be, you know, quite strong. So hold on, let me get some tongs. Okay, tongan. That's pretty good. So I used about a third of the dressing there. We'll finish this, don't worry. Let's read a review. Uh, Galia says, best Caesar salad recipe I've ever tried. This is my favorite salad, so I'm super picky. I've made it for parties and everyone, including small children, raved about how delicious it was. I think it, the homemade dressing is what did it. I didn't have time to make homemade croutons, so I just bought them. So I'm guessing it's even better with homemade ones. It will be, that's true. Cool, well that's, that's promising for the recipe I'd say. And then for a sort of negative review, let's see, Suzanne said, my husband and I thought the dressing did not have much flavor and I even added a quarter inch of anchovy paste. I didn't know you could measure paste in inches, but okay. Uh, I made the dressing a day ahead of serving, so maybe that hurt the flavor. Natasha replied actually, and she said um, that it can hurt the dressing if you make it in advance because the lemon kind of loses its luster. Uh, to be honest, I tested this recipe, I've made it a few times, and I've made the dressing in advance and I thought it was fine the next day. So I don't really know. I don't really know what's going on with that comment. Okay, back to salads. We got our lettuce. We have it dressed with a little bit of dressing. You just wanna coat the leaves. There should never be, if you can move your, your, your greens and there's like pools of salad dressing, use too much dressing. So this is about perfect. And then we're gonna add some of our croutons to this. Oh yeah. I, I liked this recipe and I wanted to make it for everybody because the dressing doesn't have anchovies and it doesn't have any eggs. So if you're looking for a Caesar salad that is not having those kind of, those ingredients that some people balk at, then this is the one for you. All right, let's plate this guy up, huh? I'm gonna try to get some, a little bit of everything here. Maybe a little extra salad dressing drizzle here. And then you better believe I'm gonna make it rain Parmesan cheese on this guy. And make it rain Parm. Parm for days. Arm for days. Okay, that's, 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 you don't need to overdo it. That's, let's not get crazy. Okay, try it, right? This is, that looks good. That actually looks delicious. Try to get a little bit of everything. Mmm! Makes me do a salad dance. This is delicious. Really classic flavors. Again, I'm an anchovy guy, so I'd probably add some anchovies to the dressing, but, you know, for a non-anchovy salad dressing, it's pretty delicious. So, there you go. Natasha's Kitchen, top 10 Caesar salad. And now, let's move on to our off-the-grid Caesar. This one is wild. For our off-the-grid Caesar salad recipe today, we are going to a website called Confessions of a Mother Runner. Now, I hadn't seen this, this uh, website before, it's actually new to me, but I really loved this recipe. It has a super unique treatment for a Caesar salad. We are going to grill the romaine lettuce. So that's gonna be awesome. We will do that in a minute, but let's first make the dressing. Um, and we're gonna use this immersion 
blender technique again because it's super easy. And she says to do three garlic cloves. This dressing, I will tell you, has some flavor to it. You will see. This is a this is not a um, a light dressing. And then the secret thing is this uses a whole tin of anchovies. So we are going heavy on the anchovies for this guy. Anchovies get such a bad rap. They're delicious. Am I going to eat a whole one right now? No, I'm not. But if this video gets a million views, I will eat a whole anchovy on camera. How about that? Hold me to that, Chris. Then after that, we're going to add some egg white. So not the yolk. This is like the opposite of some of our other dressing, so I'm going to try to get just the white. I'm going to blend it up a little bit, and then I'll add the oil to it. Blend it, blend it, blend it. How's my grill doing? Let's get the grill hot. It's about half a cup of olive oil. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good. I like the dressings with the egg a little bit. I, I think that they're just a little creamier. Just my style. We're gonna add some lemon juice. And then a pinch of salt and pepper. I should say two of the dressings that we've made today, this one and the Kenji one, you know, used raw egg. This one uses egg white. That one used egg yolk. It's pretty common for in emulsions to use a raw egg, but in theory, there is a little bit of danger there. I personally do it all the time and have never had an issue. Okay, let's uh, let's give this a taste and see how it goes. This is like my mega anchovy version is what I would call this. Whole tin of anchovies in there. Mmm! Whoa, yes. Let's read a few reviews. So this recipe, like I said, is off the grid. There's only one review of it, and it's five stars. Um, and so, you know, people, but there's a lot of comments on this recipe. Uh, and people basically say, like, this is super interesting. Uh, the grilled lettuce takes on a really interesting flavor. And the classic Caesar approach is cool. So all in all, had great reviews. I'm very excited to try it. <sighs> Got a big whopping head of romaine lettuce. And what we're gonna do is cut it in half lengthwise, right down the middle, like that. So you get a flat surface. So this is gonna be the side that we're gonna grill, okay? So we are going to get some paper towels and just really dry this out like that. And then drizzle it with some olive oil. And I'm also gonna sprinkle it with just a little bit of salt, because why not? And one, two, three, go. High, 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 high heat. Let's see what Deborah says. She says to grill it for two to three minutes, actually. Huh, that's longer than I would have thought. She grills it on both sides, but I'm just gonna do one side to try to get a really good char on that side and then call it a day. Not yet. Oh. Ooh. Got some char on it. We're getting some char. This is a wild recipe. Grilled lettuce. Raise your hand if you've ever grilled lettuce before. Chris raised his hand. Cool. Good job, Chris. Good on you. <laughs> the only thing that goes on this recipe, while well, this is grilling, let's talk about it, is, you know, croutons and cheese. Now, Deborah says to just use store-bought croutons, so that's what we're gonna use. I, um, you know, if it were my preference, I would do a homemade batch, like maybe use Kenji's or, you know, maybe use Natasha's. Those are all good recipes. Romaine is a really sturdy lettuce. It can actually, it can handle some heat like this. It's not gonna just fall apart, don't worry. All right, to serve this bad boy, I like a big platter like this. So we can just lay out the lettuce and pile on all the stuff, and then people can cut it up, you know, however they want. So I think we are in business. I am going to turn that off, and we are gonna flip this over. Woo! Look at that. We grilled our lettuce, or in a grill pan. We got some nice color on it. Like I said, this dressing is like mega anchovy dressing, right? So I'm gonna go very light on it. And then people can add more if they want. Look at that, cool. Then a few of the croutons. Look at that silly crouton. What a crouton is that? Good parm, yes. Let's dig in. 
How am I gonna cut this? I am gonna have to use a knife. This is a knife and fork salad situation. I'm gonna try to get one of those, like some of the grilled part there. Oh yeah, like that part right there. Grilled Caesar salad. Mmm. That is actually delicious. It's got some crunch to it still. It's not like soggy at all. Really good flavor. You get some of the smokiness from the grill. Some nice char on there. Man, this is a cool recipe. Definitely try it, definitely in the summer. Uh, if you have the grill going, throw on some romaine lettuce, serve an awesome Caesar salad. That's a really fun one. So what did we learn today about Caesar salad? I think one of the most important things is make your own dressing. It really makes a big difference. It's a lot better than the store-bought stuff. At the same time, don't overdress your salad. All these dressings we made today are super flavorful. So if you use a light touch at the beginning, people can always add more later, but you don't want to make it so flavorful that people are like, whoa, too much dressing. So go light on the dressing. Cheese matters. Buy really good parm. There's only a few ingredients in this salad, so use the best stuff you can find. Next, the big question, anchovies or no anchovies? I don't care. If you like anchovies, put them in. I love anchovies. Anytime I'm making a Caesar dressing, I'm putting in anchovies. If you don't want anchovies in your dressing, be sure to add some other big flavor ingredients like Worcestershire sauce or uh, red wine vinegar. Those are all big flavor ingredients that are gonna give your dressing a lot of flavor. Get creative with your Caesar salad. Serve it whole, grill the lettuce, chop it up, make it your own and you're gonna enjoy it. Well, I hope this gave you all the confidence to try an awesome Caesar salad recipe at home. I know I learned a lot today by trying all three of these recipes. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell so you get notified on future shows and leave a comment. Tell me what you want me to cook next time on The Dinner Net. If you don't like anchovies, just leave them out. Make sure you use some big flavor ingredients like red wine vinegar, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I really can't say it. We're just gonna have to keep going.